The construction of the Sangli Airport in Cavite goes full blast. Seen as an alternative to the Ninoy Aquino International Airport, the Department of Transportation targets to complete the aviation facility by October, despite the heavy rainy season. PTV Mark, PTV's Mark Fatalco reports. Despite the heavy rains, the construction at Sangli Airport in Cavite continues unhampered. The Department of Transportation said the inclement weather has been a huge challenge for them in accomplishing the task considering the deadline. According to their monitoring, almost 30 instances of rainfall have passed since they received the President's directive to expedite the construction of airport. However, it didn't stop them from doing the work 24-7. To recall, the Chief Executive directed to speed up construction and completion of infrastructure projects under the government's Build, Build, Build program and to prioritize the Sangli Airport above all. The DOTR was only given only until November to finish the airport and to make it operational by the time. As of today, the Sangli Airport is now 72% completed since the work started in June. From June 12, that's basically three months from now, no? we started around at 7%, 72 na kami ngayon. No? So, malakas ang aming tiwala na makakaya natin ng ano, um, 100% by October, no? last week of October. The passenger terminal building, which can accommodate up to 160 passengers, is now 75% complete, 80% for the apron, and 70% for hangar. The runway, on the other hand, is almost done, with markings only lacking. It can accommodate up to 20 movements an hour. The DOTR has also addressed the problem of flooding in the area. We provided nga yung uh, drainage system dito sa dito sa along the apron, pati rito sa land side. And, and in addition, naglagay kami ng uh, pump para, para nga ma-address ma yung problema natin yan. The Sangli Airport is just one of many concrete solutions to decongest na IA as they target to transfer some aircraft to the new airport. Among their priorities, general aviation including the private jets, helicopters, turboprop, and cargo. This way, the problem in delayed and canceled flights in IA is expected to substantially drop. This in line with government's mission to provide all Filipinos a safe and more comfortable travel in and out of the country. Mark Fetalco for the nation.